Giratina is out and the legendary Lake Trio is in. Until May 27th, you have the opportunity to battle and capture one of the legendary Lake Trio Pokemon in raids. Now, which one will you fight? Well, that's based on your region. So if you're in the Americas, you got the blue guy, Azelf. If you're in like Europe or India or Africa, then you got Mesprit. And if you are in the Asia specific region, did I just call it specific? Wow. <laughs> if you're in the Asia Pacific region, uh, well, then you have Uxie. And if you're wondering, yes, it's pronounced Uxie, not Uxie. Look it up, nerd. Now, if you're sitting at home wondering why they're called the Legendary Lake Trio or the Lake Guardians, well, in the main series games, they're sleeping at the bottom of uh, one of three lakes to preserve harmony in the universe or some nonsense. I don't know if sleeping at the bottom of a lake preserves harmony in the universe, but I'm not going to pretend to know the deep lore here, guys. You can provide that for us in the comments below. I'm here to tell you how to best beat these Pokemon and their use in the meta. PvP and raiding. So this is video one of three. This video is going to be covering the first of the trio, Azelf. I'm gonna say first of the trio because I'm from America and I'm pretty sure in Pokedex order it's actually like one of the other ones, but first one, Azelf. And then in my second video, I'm gonna be covering Mesprit and then the third one will be Yuxi. So here we got Azelf, little blue guy, Goes fast, I hear he likes chili dogs. Has a movie coming out soon. Uh, and yeah, if you check out the stats here, got a pretty decent attack stat, not too crazy. If you compare it to other psychic type Pokemon, attack stat's kind of on par with Alakazam and like Espeon. Um, bulk ain't too shabby either. Then checking out the moves, we got Confusion, Extra Sensory, Future Sight, Swift, and Fire Blast. Yeah, actually all three of the Lake Trio have the same identical moveset except for the uh, the flavored charge move here at the bottom. Yeah, this guy's got Fire Blast, so uh, keep those bug types, you know, uh, close and use them if it's raining, I guess. It's just how it works, right? So what best beats this guy? Well, bam. Here we go. Counter Graph. It's what Ryan Swag's here for. Uh, this is using the Tier 5 raid stats, uh, level 40 counters, unless stated otherwise against the Azelf raid, and I'm using the Confusion for the fast move, and then I have the average of all three charge moves in it to give a, a pretty representative uh, example of the more extreme counters to this raid. Uh, no dodging and best friendship. So the best counters overall to the Azelf raid is going to be Tyranitar and Origin Form Giratina. Uh, they're the tankiest, they do really good DPS, so you might get marginally higher DPS with uh, Gengar or Deoxys attack form in the lead position specifically. You know, you might get a little bit more DPS there, but at the end of the day, all you have to do is spam these two guys, and you're going to do, like, you're going to get it. You, it's not hard, right? Yeah, uh, here's the duo line all the way down here, so everything basically featured on this graph has duo-worthy DPS. Uh, as always, be mindful that the closer you get to the duo line, the more questionable your ability to duo becomes, so don't at me that your 6 level 40 Yan Megas weren't able to do the duo because you had to relobby or things just didn't work out for you there. Uh, yeah, you're, you're kind of really close to the 25 line, so a lot of things can easily upset you. But if you include just one Giratina origin form, you're probably going to make the duo, no problem there. So yeah, nothing to really worry about. And yeah, on this graph, the uh, highlighted points here are their breakpoints, so that's where your fast move does one extra damage. Now, I don't have the breakpoints for all the Pokemon featured, such as uh, Deoxys attack form here, which is essentially a worse Gengar, right? Uh, you can look that up on your own using the breakpoint calculator. I also don't have the weather-specific breakpoints for the bug types here, and I don't have the breakpoints for the bugs either, because the bugs are kind of like mediocre, and they're only good when you're in the rain, or mediocre and good in context to other counters that are more optimal, right? Yeah, don't feel bad if you're using the bugs, if that's all you have. Man, like... How do I inform you guys while also being like nice to you guys for using weak Pokemon? I don't know, man. Um, but yeah, you can definitely look up those breakpoints on your own on Game Press, and you can use Poke Battler, Go Battle Sim to get a comparative idea of how they're performing, right? So not too complicated. Uh, just don't want to make these graphs more cluttered than they have to be, right? Uh, if you're using Mewtwo, make sure you're using Shadow Ball. If you're using Tyranitar, make sure you're using Bite and Crunch, not Smackdown and Stone Edge, <laughs> right? Uh, so it's quick swag tips there that you should probably already know about. Um, looking over at the Gengar over here, uh, this is both the Shadow Claw and the Lick. 
In the Azelf raid, Shadowclaw and Lick are basically interchangeable, hand in hand, not a really big difference between them. Uh, Shadowclaw has a breakpoint at 33.5, Lick has a breakpoint at 29.5. Uh, their performance at those levels, basically the same. So yeah, no real concerns there, unless you're using like Hex or Sucker Punch, then well, good luck, buddy. But yeah, pretty clean cut fight. And if you are a newer player or a weaker player, you don't have a whole lot, well, try hitting up some local people and seeing if you can get some like raid caught level 20 Tyranitars. I know plenty of people got pockets full of them, be willing to trade to you to help you out. And like, yeah, you're not doing duo worthy DPS, but like if you're playing with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people, do you really need duo worthy DPS? Like, I don't know, man, up to you. So yeah. Best counters, right here. So, now that we know how to beat down the Azelf raid, well, just how good is this guy in the meta? Overall, I'm, I'm not too impressed with our blue bean here. Yeah, like if you check out the Pokemon list, like I said earlier on in the video, Azelf has basically the same attack stat as Alakazam, and they have basically the same moveset too. I mean, you got Confusion and Future Sight, right? So what's the big difference between these two guys other than some bulk, you know? Uh, which means Azelf definitely is behind the Confusion Psychic Mewtwo as a Psychic type attacker. And since Alakazam is already comparable to Espeon, a lot of people feel Espeon is better than Alakazam. Well, then, dang, then Espeon's probably better than Azelf too, if you feel that way. Or on par, because the bulk kind of evening things out, right? Yeah, basically, not not a great investment for a raid attacker or a gym attacker. It's just not that special. And then when you rope in the idea that you could use like the unlocked secondary charge move to improve Alakazam, Mewtwo, or Espeon's DPS even further by allowing them to use a second attack to smooth out their single bar charge move, uh, if you want more details on that kind of idea, uh, check out my Salamence video in the description on Draco Meteor with Outrage. Like, that same principle can be applied to these Pokemon, uh, but not exactly to Azelf. I mean, it's got Swift, I guess. <laughs> Maybe if it's partly cloudy out. Uh, but yeah, no, no real reason to spend Stardust on this guy. Like, you're kind of wasting your time a little bit there. Now, thinking about Azelf in a PvP perspective, it does have Confusion. And Confusion is nice because it's just solid damage you don't even have to think. But Confusion backed up by Fire Blast, you're, you're never going to get the Fire Blast. Future Sight, you're never going to get the Future Sight either. So what, you Swift? Swift? Really? And then when you look at the defenses and the HP, the bulk isn't exactly there. If you're trying to think of like a bulky psychic type Pokemon, you got Uxie here, which is like the same exact thing as Azelf, but tankier, right? Same moveset, has confusion, that's all we need to know really. So PvP perspective, Azelf, not so much, Uxie, a big maybe. If you want to know more about Uxie, you're going to have to check out the third video. So. And that's it. That's the bottom line. If you want to beat down Azelf, well, you probably can. It's a pretty easy duo. Compared to the other two members of the trio here, uh, it's the easiest one to beat. Yeah, it's got the lowest defense stat, which means it's the easiest to raid. If you haven't noticed, the difficulty of a, of a raid boss is contingent on its defense stat, right? So, easiest guy. You can just plow through it with a bunch of Tyranitars. You don't even have to think about anything. Uh, easy Mewtwo, right? So, no concerns there. Azelf, easy raid. And as far as its meta viability goes, not so hot. Yeah, in both raid content and PvP content, it's not really making any huge waves there. It's not a terrible Pokemon for raid content, but we already got, you know, Alakazam, Espeon, and I don't know, man, Mewtwo. Maybe we already got Mewtwo. So, yeah, even if you're missing Mewtwo, I think your Stardust would be best spent on, like, an Espeon or an Alakazam since you catch them at a high level and you can trade, get the lucky easily, low cost. So, yeah, Azelf, definitely not feeling it. Got any questions on this content? Got questions why this cat keeps interrupting me. Got any questions on this content? Comment below. Let me know what's up. I'll be happy to help you out. And if you enjoy this content, maybe you're from, like, Europe or... Australia or something, you want to see my other videos, well, make sure to subscribe to Swag Tips. Swag Tips. Aw, oh, shoot, guys. Bonus round. Made it to the end of the video, so I'm going to give you some swag info facts on the Azelf here. Now, you're looking at Azelf, and you're probably thinking, man, Ryan Swag, this guy is clearly 
a Team Mystic Pokemon. It's blue as all get out, right? Well, guess what, fools? It ain't. Azelf is actually a Team Valor Pokemon. Why is that? Well, the Legendary Lake Trio is based off of the Imperial Regalia of Japan, which are the three treasures, right? So Azelf here embodies the sword, which is the, the Japanese virtue sacred treasure of Valor. Bam. If you're wondering, Ryan Swag, where are you getting this information from? Well, bam. Here you go. Wikipedia. Look it up. The Imperial Regalia of Japan. The three sacred treasures. The sword. The Kusanagi. Which, well, where, where the heck does it say? Well, here we go. Yeah. The sword. Valor. <laughs> oh, man. I'm a genius. Now, if you're sitting at home and you're wondering, well, Ryan Swag, well, how do you know that Azelf is the sword? Well, I got that information from Bulbapedia. It's all these... Pedias teaching us things. But yeah, Azelf, Team Mystic? No, Team Valor.